and we're back with more Dismantle. We're starting this episode by finally finding how to make timber. I was destroying everything, couldn't figure out how to make timber. I was continuing to explore further to the north. And right here, going this path along here, we already were at the Continental Diner, actually, at some point in the last episode. But I was going to go towards this link tower, and I came across Crab's Wood Timber. And Crab's Wood Timber has a machine that you can use to make lumber. Not only that, accessing this machine gives you access to blueprints, which is a feature I haven't seen before. So there's a quest here, build sawmills to accelerate your lumber production. Invent and craft a builder's kit, build another sawmill. So we're gonna accept that. Now this sawmill here was already here exactly as is. And what you do is you select what you want. If you select scrap wood and leaves as fuel, you're gonna get wood. We already can get wood planks by destroying certain things. So if we're gonna go to wood planks and we're gonna select leaves as fuel, we're gonna get one lumber, but it takes 40 seconds. So what I already crafted five to upgrade my ax, but what this quest is about obviously is to build another sawmill. I didn't even know we can do that. So let's see if we can figure that out. Yeah, first we're gonna have to select another skill to upgrade from our level up. So I'm gonna go with gatherer to get more resources from gathering. Let's see what we unlocked, a builder's kit. We have all the resources, but if I use that rubber, I won't be able to upgrade max. But you know what? This is more important, so let's do it. Enter build mode. Oh, look at that. So let's select it. And now if we right click, oh my balls. We have a build menu. This is insane. So we can obviously get other things as well to build. Now we need 30 iron angles. We have everything except the rubber. So this is pretty awesome. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna queue up. Um, oh, look at that. And then when you select it, you can place it down. And you have a build limit of five. I don't know if it's a global build limit of five or just in this area. And where can you build? Can you build anywhere on the map? Can you? I don't even know. So we're gonna have to figure all this out. This is so amazing. Now we need five lumber to upgrade our axe and we need another 10 lumber to upgrade our uncommon compressor. We also need another six lumber, I believe, to upgrade our baseball cart, which is gonna allow us to push people back as we fight them um, to the maximum level. So we're gonna need another uh, 16 lumber and we're just gonna disappear and we're gonna let that run while we're gonna do our thing. Let's invent the uncommon compressor. This is really, really important for us to get really into hoarding everything. It basically doubles up everything like it did with the common items with the uncommon materials. I wonder if there's an upgraded version for the blue items as well. So it looks to get to this link tower, we're gonna have to go through the snow biome. And there's a quest as well beside a broken bridge. So let's have a look here. Arctic cabin. Here's the quest. The bridge leading over the icy crevice seems to be broken. Perhaps it could be fixed with some high quality lumber. Well, we have actually some lumber that we have spares that we can't upgrade our axe. Let's see if it's enough. I need six to fix the bridge. Okay, so let's get uh, six out of our storage. But before we access our storage and take items out, let's invent storage box discounts, which make it less expensive to take items out. So now it shouldn't cost us as much. Um, now let's see, we need six. There we go. And that's gonna cost us 432 experience. Now we should be able to repair the bridge. Excellent. We are getting very cold, but let's see if we can, um, ooh, okay, I'm not sure yet. We're getting very cold very quickly. So maybe we should see if we can craft ourselves some warm clothing first. We can actually get the fur hat. Cold protection, 10 degrees. We also can switch back from our lumberjack outfit, uh, which are used for more damage to trees, to the outdoors man outfit, uh, which gives us another plus five cold protection. So in total, we now have 15 cold protection, I believe. Yes, 15. So let's see if that is enough to get through to the link tower. And yes, I can't see any cold bar popping up at all. That is brilliant. Oh. And here we are, here's the link tower. Let's activate it. And let's also enable deadly transmission here. 
Now, one of the things that we looked at in the last episode was Ascension Signal. Now, the Ascension Signal actually requires you to have obviously some resources, but it also requires you to literally obliterate every single monster in the area. Now, when I tried that in the starter area, it actually resets the counter once you use a campfire because it respawns all the monsters. So having deadly transmission actually helps a lot with that. And once you enable the Ascension, I'm not sure if deadly transmission still applies as in they get killed again for good or if you have to reinstall deadly transmission but we're gonna figure that out but that is actually a really nice way of giving you back some monsters to fight so that you don't run out of the ability to get more of those mana beats nice we have another tomb let's descend <sighs> So I'm assuming we are not able to step on the axis and we have to make sure that we can avoid being shattered. Very good so far. Ah, oh, no! Okay, we made it around the next corner. And that's it. Oh, 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 nice. Excellent. The maintenance is now conducting a scheduled inspection of the wall systems. You will need to comply with their orders. Wow, 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 wow. It went really quickly into you do as you told. Oh, I just got some potatoes and carrots, which reminded me. Thank you very much for the comments. You guys are absolutely amazing. In the comments, you let me know that I should prepare for later on to need a lot of vegetables so farming is becoming very important so one of the levels up that i had while i was grinding off camera i spent on faster farming and i actually went down to one of the farms in the starter area which was close to the starter area here and i planted literally this whole area was everything i had like three rows of carrots cabbage potatoes onions everything and as i will get more and more of those resources i will of course plant like even a number of rows and i will obviously go up here as well and do a full um farm of whatever we need so that way we're well prepared so thank you very much for those comments keep them coming really appreciate it nice now we can upgrade our axe beautiful and the next one is steel and ceramic we have that as well that is 68 oh nice so previously we were able to pet them and then they became our friends and they followed us but these are caribou they're different than the deer so i don't know if they actually will follow us it is following us this is amazing so let's see what happens when we fight oh look it's actually attacking oh that is amazing it killed the dog! Oh, this is so cool! Oh, I can still actually hit it. That is not cool at all. So, friendly damage is actually a thing. I did I did hit it intentionally to see if friendly fire is a thing. Our partnership was short-lived, but it was worth it. I think that is awesome. So, I wonder if there's like a limit, if we can like have 10 or 20 of them and then just make them attack everything around us. Okay, that is weird. This seems important. Better not destroy it. That is the first time I've seen something like that. So maybe it has to do with the quest here. So why don't we go around? We're back here at the diner and actually right here is something called the underground entrance. Isn't the underground what your man always is talking about? The radio announcer? But that doesn't open. So I wonder, is this something we have to unlock at some point? I mean, it has the crown. And it's marked on the map. Huh. It looks like we need a diner key for this, so I wonder if the quest is gonna have to do with that. You find a note on the table. They want my family's recipe. Oh, we get a new recipe. That would be great. Well, they won't get it. I've locked the recipe away in the locker room. If you want to find it, you have to follow the trash. Check the continental back alley for trash. So that is why we couldn't destroy one of the trash items. Phew, this rig's really bad, but I think I found something. Looks like a pile of trash next to the pond up north. Oh, what, what, what? New invention? Tear down efficiency. Oh my god, we're getting all these new things now that sound really interesting. And that monster face, I have to check that out in a second. But first, pond north. Okay, there's a pond north here. So let's go and check that pond out. 
Oh yes, loads of items to search through. Let's see. There's something glued to the inside of the large wheel. Nice. Tell me, what is it? Go to the passage south, south of Old Chalice. Oh, Old Chalice, that is where we were with the uh, timber and wood place. South of Old Chalice, which is here then, I guess. And dig the ground between the trash piles. Okay, we will have to do that. Okay, another level up. Build limit plus 10. I mean, I'm very intrigued by this, so we're gonna take that. Okay, we have a big boy here protecting the area, so let's give him a good smack. Nice. Okay, none of these are searchable, so... Okay, we have enough rubber now, so let's build a second machine. And yeah, sure, build it right here, I guess, beside this one. Beautiful. Now let's see how much faster it is because it's 40 seconds. It's still 40 seconds, but I guess now we have two machines. So we are twice as fast, I guess. So we can make five here and then we can queue up five here. So while we're waiting for these to craft, earlier on we unlocked some more recipes or inventions. One is the Berserker Sharp. A savage rage is contained in this mystical trinket. Melee damage versus monsters and damage block is minus 30. <laughs> rage mode, I love it. We're not gonna use it, but we want to unlock the extra slot, so we definitely want to um, craft it. The same for the hand wraps. They give us more damage in the power attacks, which is very important So that. I actually want to use. We need one more trinket to unlock that slot, which we, oh, that's a special item. Proximity mine, might as well craft that. And it unlocked the last slot, so great. Now we have four slots unlocked for special items. And we just need one more trinket. Teardown efficiency. Oh, nice. Get all used materials back when breaking an object you've built using the build builder's kit. Nice. So we could basically build something temporary. Get all the crafting done we need, like loads of lumber. And then we can destroy it all again if we want to build it somewhere else. That is really awesome. Let's upgrade our axe to 74 damage. I completely forgot the note told us to dig, not surge. So I'm just gonna have to look around here and keep digging. Oh, there we go. Looks like the key to the locked diner. Nice. What the hell is that? That is crazy. I saw a blue marker there on the map. If you look at this here, and I just thought it was like a map. Um, I thought it was just a mark on the map for some reason, like nothing too important. I mean, let's follow it around and see if there's anything special happening. Okay, it's saying there's something here. <gasps> wow. Holy balls, did you see that? That is amazing. Electronics and mana beads. Oh, genie Mac. Okay, let's have a look at the lock door. Nice. Let's see if we get a new recipe. Oh, we get some rubber. Nice. Claim the reward for the quest. Tenderloin. Carrots, mushrooms, meat and spuds. Melee damage versus monsters plus 2.5%. Sweet. Oh, we got some steel as well. This was well worth it. We're back in the suburbs on our way back to our farm so we can get the spuds, so we can cook the recipe. And there's a few things that we weren't able to do in the beginning because we didn't have the ability. But now that we have unlocked the tomb and this building here, we can listen to the last radio transmission Martial here. Law has been declared to cover the western part of the island. We will have the situation under control in no time. <laughs> this is an automated recording sent from K23. What I really love about station. this the most is that even in hindsight, you're saying like, yeah, yeah, we got it under control in no time. Yeah. <laughs> but let's go also over to this tomb here that we also were able to unlock with the lockpick. We actually were able to destroy the gate at this stage. So let's check out this tomb. Fall of the Four Kings. Okay, so we have to move these onto those areas. So let's see, can we move these guys into here? 
Yeah, okay. Oh! Okay, so we have to be very quick in moving them. Ah! I can actually fall down myself. There we go. Ooh. Now the side door opened here. And nice. And here we go. Let's see if everything is grown. Okay, we can harvest all of this. And we only had a few potatoes, but I think they're here. Yes. Okay, let's go and harvest all of this. We can't even fit it all on the hot bar. <laughs> but we're going to replant everything again now anyway. Let's upgrade our cooking pot first so we can have four slots that we need for the new recipe. Now we should be able to cook the tenderloin to give us the extra 2.5% damage. Beautiful. And then we can also upgrade the animal treats from two to three. We are very close to testing out ascensions. We have three more enemies to find in this territory and kill. One, two, and three. So let's see what actually happens. So the idea is of Ascension, as it says here, that all monsters will respawn as tougher versions. New monsters award more experience points, but also have better drops. So let's see what the drops will be and how this works. So let's click it. And also, will deadly transmission still apply? Oh, wow. This is crazy looking. I can hear the footsteps. Okay, they still look the same. Now, do we still need to... Oh, Deadly Transmissions is still installed. And now we have a plus one. So let's see what actually happens. Oh, they dropped double the loot. And because the Deadly Transmission still applies, we can still uh, do it again and again. Well, if monsters are getting stronger, especially in the higher level area, if we decide to do ascensions, we might as well take more damage. So currently on this ascension level, we get two drops. And from these normal monsters, we get 175 experience. This was the last one in this ascension level. So let's ascend again. So will we just get three drops? Oh, we now get 200 experience and we get three drops. Oh, actually, look at that. The health is buffed a lot. Like this guy is taking quite um, a punishment now. That is awesome. Oh, yes. Another deer. Yes. Oh, again? No, just one. All right, let's do the final ascension. And we have a lot of those mana beads and resources, so there's nothing to worry about. If we get to an area where there's really high level monsters already and they give good drops, ascension obviously is way more valuable, but this is just to test this out. Okay, so I'm expecting four drops. Oh, link ascension, nice, look at that. We got some bonus experience. Now I would assume four drops and 225 experience, brilliant. The health is definitely buffed before, even from the front, I was able to one-shot them, but now I can't. So they have probably had only 100 health before, and now they have like 115 or something. And they also hit a lot harder now. They actually do now 14 damage. When they hit me, I think before, at, especially on level one, they did something like three damage or four damage. Let's try out the mines. <laughs> They're awesome. So I think I killed them all again, but I want to make sure I did. So there's a thing called Scanner Radar. Show statistics such as monster count for the Link Tower area. I don't know if that's all the monsters in general that could be there or only the ones that are alive. So let's craft that. Oh, there we go. We have two more alive. Scan monsters? Oh, look at that. It shows you actually where they are. That is amazing. And here we go. Here's the last one. 
so this area is now 100 um, percent on ascension and monsters killed we can see here um, everything is installed it has all the upgrades installed so this is a completely maxed out link tower uh, including all the monsters killed which is amazing so we can even see it here on the bottom left now on the radar i think because of the scanner we installed that there's zero monsters left the curfew has been extended conduct your travel and business during daytime hours only be safe oh we got a new recipe baked potatoes here's the link tower where the first fuel cell is well the fuel cell is a little bit further north but this is the link tower that belongs to the territory so let's install the deadly transmissions into it let's make ourselves a nice winter coat and now we're fully protected nice and here we are welcome to the prison area the home of the first fuel cell so it looks like the first fuel cell is right here in this area and the only way to get there, I'm assuming, is through the corridors of this building. So let's have a look. There's a quest, actually. The gate that leads further into the prison has been locked. Search for the key around other parts of the building. Oh, we leveled up and we unlocked a new invention, the magnet. Oh, I wonder if that would be something where we can just drag in all the items. Let's see. Also, what do we have here? Pack rat, material carry slots, always wanted. Fisher, XP. You know what? Pack rat right now. That's what we need. Let's check out that new magnet that we unlocked. Oh, we actually have the materials for it. It's a trinket. It has the power to attract materials from farther away. Material collect distance plus 15. We should craft it and equip it. There we go, because we now have the final slot unlocked. Very nice. Security checkpoints have been established throughout the island. Prepare to show your ID. All non-essential travel is prohibited. So this is the door we need the key for. It seems the key is at Curtisfield North Police Station. The situation got so bad that all the survivors were evacuated there. That's quite a distance away. We are right here. And we have to go all the way across here to this side to get to the police station. I'm assuming this is where that is. Our best and last line of defense, the Quadrumvirate, has been deployed to protect you and those closest to you. Have no fear. What is the quadrum vote? Is that like a thing or something? I hope it's not something that we come across that is protecting us and it's gonna become a problem for me. <laughs> whoa, what is that? A new enemy? Whoa, 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 whoa. Woo, a leaper. Holy balls. Uh, I have to go all the way through Actoros here to get to the police station because this bridge down there is broken. So I've made my way over to this link tower first to activate that so we can fast travel. And then I was going to make my way down there. Okay, let's activate the link tower. So I'm not gonna activate deadly transmission. We only have two orbs. I think there's only about three or four more tombs, I think. And I don't wanna waste them. So we're gonna keep them for now and we're just gonna have to fight the monsters. What I might do though, is I might actually implement the scanner radar, which I think is permanent. And that costs materials I can get a lot off. So I'm not really too worried about that. If you encounter any unknown plant life, please stay back and report the location to the liquidators. Oh, look at that, a fish salad recipe, very nice. Power attack damage plus 50%. And another recipe, potato salad damage block plus 5%. Oh, I think we found another obelisk or something. What is this? Hang on a second. Oh, yes, that was another one of those um, shelter loudspeaker. Oh, look at that. Shelter defense. The loud sounds from the speaker attracts the monsters out from the old shelter nearby. Build defenses to prepare for the horde. Kill all monsters before they reach the loudspeaker. Invent and craft a builder's kit, build a machine gun turret, activate the loudspeaker, kill the shelter monster, enter the shelter. Holy balls on a cracker. I love this game. There's every time you think, okay, that's all. We're just going to have to continue doing it. There's something else they're going to throw at you. This is amazing. Oh, um, okay. Is that something we can do right now? Okay. Rotate, rotate, rotate. Oh, ho, 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 ho. please tell me this is something we can do right now let's just build one at first and then destroy it and see if we get the materials back yes we got it all back okay in that case i'm building two. Oh, here we go here we go 
Oh my balls, look at those guys. No, don't destroy it. Reload. Quick. I didn't realize I had to reload them. Oh no, they destroyed it. Did they destroy it? Oh, we died. <laughs> okay. Oh, whew. okay. Did we lose the materials now? No, we didn't. We got it back. Oh, this is so awesome. I love this about this game. You always can have fun with it, you know, even if you die, it's brilliant. Let's do it again. I think we got it, I think we got it. Come on, we're so close. I think we got it. Oh my God, we got it. This was amazing. I don't know how many of them I'm gonna leave in the recording, but I tried this about seven times at this stage. Definitely much easier with straight turrets, but the landmines helped a lot. So let's see. This is the first time we're going into a shelter. This is amazing. This is where we emerged from. Well, not this shelter, but any uh, another shelter. Look at this. Oh, nice. New invention, turret ammo expansion. Oh, I love it. Thank you. Okay, we got some monsters here, but let's have a quick look through here. Okay, garbage disposal. Oh, wow, rocket defense. Holy crap, Apple, what the hell? What the hell was that? There was a rocket defense over there. Oh, nice. There was another one of those uh, turret chips in there. Computer chips. Nice. Okay, that big monster over there just walked into the water and died. Okay, whatever. So let's heal up and drop our items off in case we die and then deal with the big boy over there. And watch out for the rocket launcher at the same time, I guess. Okay, let's do this. Let's see if we can lure him. Nice. Let's see, rocket launcher. Oh. Oh, it doesn't actually attack you when you're close by. Awesome. Yeah. <laughs> Let's see if we find some recipes. Nice chili dogs. Look at that. Beautiful. Max hit points plus five. Okay, let's go with max hit points again and here we have the turret ammunition expansion and we can oh it costs a central processing unit i'm not sure yet i also don't know what is gonna be you know what let's do it it doesn't matter let's do it we're gonna find at least one more central processing unit so it's fine and let's see what we have here defensive sandbags oh very nice we keep, we actually keep destroying them we, we don't get bricks from them a buildable defense structures that will help slow down the rush of monsters so i'm assuming some of these shelters will have a massive amount of waves and then we have rocket turrets oh this is sweet yeah we, we definitely will be finding more central processing units otherwise this is not possible so i wonder if we can build a turret just anywhere here and then have it kill this bad guy, for example, like this big guy. It works. But he's not holding still. But it works. 
<laughs> I love this so much. <laughs> okay, let's cook some chili dogs for a maximum hit points of five. We have just enough onions to make garlic mushrooms for another plus five hit points. And then we have enough left over to make some baked potatoes as well for another plus five hit points. Let's upgrade our animal treats. And our frag grenades. Let's make some lumber. <laughs> now we're here at the police station, so let's see how we're gonna get in. There's a back door here. The quarantine is now declared to cover the whole island. Do not leave your house under any circumstance. Let's take care of these two boobs. And we found the key. Nice. Oh, turret specialist. Turret ammo capacity plus 20. Turret reload speed. And then we have Fisher, which we're okay with. We don't need any more health points. Fast learner would be interesting, but I think we are actually a little bit ahead of where we are in the area because I always feel quite overpowered, but there's a lot more left of the map. So I think we're going to go with turret specialist for now. Let's upgrade our baseball card to the final level. Let's see if we can get to the time crate. Yes. Oh, look at that amount of steel. Nice. This doesn't look suspicious at all. <laughs> nice. Let's fix the bridge to Curtis Field South. Oh, we didn't need to fix it. We just need to lower it. All right. We didn't even need to craft all that lumber. Let's fast travel to Borealis. And off we go back to the prison. Now we should be able to open the door. Nice. The gate is open, but eerie sounds reverberate around the barren walls. Hello, my friend. <laughs> Nice smoked fish pasta, another maximum hit points of plus five. And we also have another timed crate. Let's see if we can get to it. Nice. Oh, loads of rubber. Beautiful. Well, we do have a campfire right here. So I wonder if when we get into the yard, if there is a big boy waiting for us. Let's check it out. Ooh. The fuel cell is inside that automation. Automaton. Ah, oh, balls. Okay. So I'm assuming... Yep. Yeah. Okay, let's see if we can hit it. Oh, a little bit. Not too bad. It has a lot of health. So I wonder... I wonder... Okay, I was going to see if we can build our turrets and our turrets can help us. Let's see. Turrets. No, can we not build? Oh, you're kidding me. Let's try that again. We can't build. Okay, so we're going to have to take care of this fiend ourselves. Nice. Not as much damage as I thought it would be. Okay, we got him to the first level. Oh, quick. Ooh, second phase. I love it. He has different phases. There we go. Okay, let's heal. Oh, lucky that we stood right there in the middle. Beautiful self-heal. Yes, we got him. Whew. Defeated the law. Fuel cell. Beautiful. 
I'm really happy that we got so much defense because he hit us a few good times and we only lost a little bit of health. We got our first fuel cell and there was a lot we had to do in this episode. We The bunker was just amazing. The shelter, the turrets, we can make the minigun turrets. This game just gets better and better. Anyway, I'm gonna have to leave this here. We're gonna get the next fuel cell or fuel cells in the next episode. Until then, I hope you guys had a good time with the episode. If you did, remember to kick that like button in the balls and I hope I see you guys in the next video. And if you're new to the channel and you like what you see, hit that subscribe button and I'll see you guys next time. Until then, as always, fuel spaß and happy gaming.